explode, so you don't actually have to pull that person. Oh, you just ram that straight yeah. up, and you, you get the just... damage and everything yeah. else. You can be a bit more efficient with your balling okay. as well. Uh, real fast, if you double edge into a spiked Nyx, you oh. just take a you die oh. pain, right? You just yeah. <laughs> well, you don't just die, but your, your character on, gets on. deleted from the game, I see. <laughs> and you don't get to come back. I generally don't see that happen too often, because normally you're spiking like uh, his ultimate or a stun. But uh, <clears throat> if that happens, you know, that would be pretty devastating. Yeah. But I think the thing is, you could argue it both ways. Like the attacks are so telegraphed that the person could just cancel it when he sees. Yeah, because he has to like too. get the whole axe. Because you like again. pull the axe all the way back, and then you read a book, and then you, you lift your bring it back <laughs> down. Radiant okay, Team Rubik. Pick. We haven't seen Rubik for quite a bit, I want to say. Uh, Vanscore has played a few times, actually. Yeah, Vanscore is like sick Rubik. Yeah, he, he's, he's super good. You know, I was thinking the other day, because uh, I always have this friend that supports can't win the MVP award. Yeah. I think they can if they play Rubik. Cause yeah, he's one of them. Do you remember that game? The yeah, first week? but he didn't win it. No. That's only because Dendi played so good that yeah, week. Yeah, there was... Like, you can't even say that Dendi didn't deserve yeah, it. Yeah, Dendi didn't well. Ten seconds. But no, I, I think that uh, Rubik is one of the biggest playmakers that you can possibly have on your team. Yeah, Five as a support. But it's, it's also really hard to play from behind on him, I think. If you don't have, like, a four staff or a blink dagger, it is. it's, like, really, really difficult. Especially difficult. against teams with Nyx Reserve and Visage, time. because all they have to do is find you with birds in the Nyx, and then you're dead. No. Like, you can't do anything against that. It's a sad, sad time. So we're assuming the Dazzle and the Rubik are going to be kind of like buddies for the whole game. They're just going to hang out, you know? I think they could pick Tinker here. Cloud9. <clears throat> they could. Or Invoker. Does Sing Sing play a Tinker? I don't think so. Oh, who would play Tinker on their team? I know Envy has practiced it, but he's definitely playing the Luna, so that's out of the question. Okay. So I don't think they will play Tinker. Just, Just based on the, the, the fact that they the don't players. have the, yeah, the players. Yeah. The other thing that's a little bit inherently risky about Tinker is that there's already a Storm and a Centaur on the other team. So picking a hero that kind of relies on opening up the map when you know that Team Empire has initiation is back. inherently risky. Because you're basically saying, okay, hopefully the storm doesn't, you know, he doesn't ball on me or they don't use center ulti in a blink to stop me from marching away. Like, that's scary, right? Yeah. So Empire, they ban out the back. SF. I like that. I just really like heroes who go early BKB against lineups like Empires, where they solely rely on just walking into you and fighting you. Like, that's what Empire is doing. One thing in the... Uh defeat that Empire suffer against Team Ahead remaining. is uh, one thing that Ahead did very well. Is, like is that, that next KZ? Yeah, okay. next KZ slash Ahead. Called ahead. Yeah, yeah, called ahead. Um, is they went for three or four Blink Daggers. <clears throat> they had one on the Shadow Fiend. They had one on the Shadow Shaman. And I don't know. I think it was like a Centaur on the last one. I'm not sure about Centaur. But what I saw and I was very surprised about is that Team Empire did not respect the power of Blink Dagger. So they would just like have one person farming out of nowhere and then he just got blinked on. And they lost a Ten lot of heroes remaining. and towers because of that. But the other thing I took away from that game is that Team Empire, they were remaining. fighting evenly and sometimes they were winning team fights with a 10 dollar gold disadvantage. Yeah. They're just saying a lot about Reserve the team. Time. So I think I want to just based on that one loss, I think Tem Team Empire's weakness, if, you, if they even have one, is against... Blink daggers. What heroes did the other team have? Shadow Fiend? Shadow Fiend, Shadow Shaman on support, who somehow got to blink, and I think it was either a Slaughter or a Centaur, some sort okay. of like initiator in that sense. Um, maybe after that game, they have corrected their playstyle to not be as cocky or as aggressive against blink initiations. But I think one, one thing that Team Empire generally does well in their draft is making sure that they are the aggressor. Ooh. And pretty much, pretty much the same draft blink. here, like Puck and Storm are. Because they, they do kind of similar things, right? They jump on you and they initiate. And when you're the person that's being the aggressor, Cloud9 is going to be the one that has to be on the defensive. Because so far, if you just look at the two drafts, Earthshaker is picked as a defensive pick. Yeah. Luna is going to be sort of like she does damage, but you know she's going to be getting a quick BKB. And to me, she's going to be a defensive pick for the similar reasons. So Cloud9 is going to be playing on the back Ten foot, seconds. I feel like, in Ten terms seconds. of like who's the aggressor role. Yeah, for sure. But they Five have a good defensive remaining. posture lineup, right? Yes. Like you have Visage Herds to stun. You have Nyx, who has a decent range in Pale. Uh, one of the best defensive supports in the game, in my opinion, which is Earthshaker. Mm -hmm. Just being able to, like, pilot Eyes Fissures are... Well, well <laughs> he, had one, he had one really good game, and then he had Ten one really bad game. Yes. Yeah. yes. So he's, like, 50-50. We'll see which oh pilot eye they bring God. to the table today. Okay. And and Resort for a while, so 
Yeah, Xorb works really well with the team. With Nyx, like, you can easily land the Sunstrike every single time. Yeah, but it's not about the Sunstrike. It's about the fact that, like Lumi was saying, Cloud9 are going to be on defensive, yeah. Yeah. like, for most of the game. So having EMP Tornado is ridiculously good against Stampede and things like that. Like, say, for instance, the Storm Ball's in, Cold Snap EMP, if he doesn't, like, get the ball out, he's dead, yeah. right? Or you just Tornado him and you save whatever hero they jump on. And likewise, if the Tornado hits you while you're Stampeding, I'm pretty sure it gets rid of it. But in this case, he could easily beat Storm in lane if he went Exorc Quas and like crush his, his like early well, game. Well, he beat Storm anyway. Get, yeah. like... Ten seconds remaining. Like I agree that Exorc is probably better, just because it lets Five you secure last hits faster, remaining. and you can just hit Storm when he goes to the wave. You can still do it as Quas Wex, but it keeps safe from Nyx because if you go Exorc, you don't have Ghost Walk, and then you're at least forcing Empire to buy some kind of detection if they want to roam, which they may depending on how this works out, because it's going to be a solo Prepare offlane mix for, for uh, Cloud9. Okay, well, Sing Sing starts out with no Talisman. That's it's generally an yeah. Exorb build. What I was thinking is you can stack the Ancients with the Forge Spirits uh, for uh, Luna to... Yeah, that's very true. I, I personally doing this thing. like the Quas Wex for all of the reason that Andy just said, and, and tagging on one more onto that. EMP Tornado to actually initiate on the Storm and then to follow with Cold Snap. You're initiating him for the team. You're burning all of his mana. You're never burning all of Storm's mana. He, well, will, he will always have enough mana to bottle away. Meanwhile, Envy was living life on the edge. He has yes. boots first, though. He's fucking sweet. Like, 380 movement speed. He's got some next level starting builds, man. No yeah, regen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Envy is like the player that has. But Aoi has seven. eight tangos. Well, ha eight now has seven. But yeah. Ridiculous. Is he just going to go rush tranquils? I think he's just scouting. I don't battle. think he's rushing. Right, you're just gonna go into your standard ring of But I mean, Aquila. you can just drop the boots, man, every time you go for a creep kill. <laughs> I got so mad one time when I was playing Lycan. I just somehow bought, you know, my standard oh, stars. I, I just get my tranquils, like, no. I wanted to disassemble it, but there were heroes running at me, so I can't just be like, oh, let me, hold yeah. on, guys, let me disassemble That's like my tranquils. That's strategy. <laughs> yeah, and there's something where seconds. you disassemble them, sometimes you can't sell them, like, for the full gold. The battle what? begins. Yeah. It, if you assemble an item, regardless of whether or not you disassemble it, you still cannot sell it back for full yeah. price. Because they, it's like if you use the item or something like that, like you made arcane boots and you use them and disassemble them and try to sell it back and work, yeah. it'll, it'll sell for like 500 gold. To what if you just buy item, uses it, and sell it back? No, you can't. Anything with a use doesn't so you, sell you, back for full price. Uh, I was like bottles are the same way. Me. Like you can't buy a <laughs> bottle and bottle in the well. I see. I was thinking so next level, I was like, oh, what if you're getting creeps somehow, they're like throwing you so bad, they're getting the creep, you buy this, Midas uh, the creep in your fountain, and then you sell it. No, he's like, she's like, going X -Sword. I'm really surprised. We'll see. I mean, I'm not saying Forge Spirits and Xord is bad, I just thought that, you know, Quas Wex would have synergized a bit better with the lineup, because they still have a good amount of damage, even if he goes Quas Wex. You have Soul Assumption, Earthshaker Fissures, Lucid Beam, like, they have the capability of picking off a hero very quickly, which I mean, is all you really need. For what it's worth, it's going to give Sing Sing a much longer lane domination against Storm Spirit. So, when we say that though, Resolution is actually doing quite right so far in the CS war. Yep. I mean, the thing about Storm is, his laning isn't like spectacular, what? but if you spam Remnants and loads to last hit, it's still pretty darn easy to remain consistent. Mm -hmm. The only problem is that you have to get up and close to the creeps for that, and Volker's going to like click on you when you're so close to the creeps. Yeah. But the other thing is, too, if you're in a position where you're getting pushed in as Storm, you're going to take way more harass. Like, you want the creep equilibrium to be going in your favor for the specific reason that you just mentioned. If you're pushing him in, and there's a bigger creep wave on your side than there is his, that means that it's going to be harder for him to hit you as many times because the creeps are going to go to him, and then he has to reposition, right? Like, even if he doesn't take creep damage, he has to move. Yeah. Which means he can't just sit there and right-click you the whole time, which he can do if his creep wave is bigger than yours. Yeah. The more you know. Well, speaking of the creep position, Pilot dies up to his usual shenanigans when he's playing Earthshaker, just doing more pulls. He even stacked the high-level camp, so he's denying a full wave, which is, you know... For a storm, that sucks so yeah. bad. Quite like, backbreaking. Like, that is going to make him the saddest. Imagine having a Lich on your team, but, like, way worse. And I really feel like this should not be possible. <laughs> yeah. I agree. I agree. It's, it's pretty filthy, look. Like, the whole group have gone. It ain't great great at all. So resolution is just going to be like, huh. Hmm. I guess I'm just going to be like a full level behind at like two minutes in because cool hero is cool. So we've been seeing more and more of this uh, ring of Basalius on Invoker 
I personally believe, well, mono regen is always welcome on Invoker. Like, you generally do run out of mana if you spam your spells enough, but giving a little bit of armor to your Creep Wave as well as to your Forge Spirit is a pretty decent because uh, the recent patch lock change has not been favorable to the Forge Spirits. And should you turn it off at certain stages, though? Well, I mean, more or less, you always want the wave pushing, in my opinion, if you're sitting here on bottom lane. Mag's gonna be taking some damage. I think he's fine though. Yeah, he's he has not gonna treads. Die. Oh no, that's Luna. Oh my god. Yeah, Luna has treads. So I think if you're saying you want the way to push as hard as you can, because if you're like pulling all the time, you don't wanna be tanking his creeps under your tower. So if you have the armor on what creeps you do have to make sure that the wave's pushed out, it means that your tier one's gonna be taking less damage. Yeah. So also just paying homage to some of the old school player, shout out to Merlini. He used to actually turn on the Basilius on and off. Up with the opponent's last, last hit. It's actually super annoying. Yeah, when it's, you do that. it's really next level if you could do it properly. So I'm not sure if Sinky's going to be doing that, but he can. Like under tower and stuff like that. It's actually harder to do against Radiant's a Storm now because a Storm has attack. like 50 damage based on overload and he's being pretty liberal with his uh, remnant usage. So it still could work, but it's going to be a lot harder to make it yeah. work against him. I love watching Bone 7 on Nyx. It's pretty fucking beautiful. He's a bug, man. <laughs> he is a bug. I he's played. pre-running for his mid too. What a nice guy. Doesn't even spawn there, but he doesn't. Oh. It's just part of the job, you know? Illusion. I guess gonna get illusion. Oh, he's gonna be sad. Something that I've talked about when, when Cloud9's playing before is that it's it's very, very important that Pali die and how you play well. More important than I think the cores play well. Because the core requires so much space in their usual playstyle. Absolutely and you know, MV getting no. Mask of Madness, Midas on Drow Ranger and things like that. The supports need to create space and uh, so far Pilot dies is you know creating a lot of space for mid because of this Earthshaker shenanigan oh you not so much but uh, at least Envy's free farming the thing is Sing is almost like level and a half ahead of Dyer's resolution top tower and is under attack. it's just because of the Earthshaker pulling like yeah. he's level six right now resolution's level four <laughs> like that is so unbelievably annoying for a storm I very reliant on snowballing, and he's getting ganked. Fissure, resolution, possible first, but coming in. Teleport reaction from the dazzle, but it's a little bit too slow. Bones then is actually stuck. <laughs> no, 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 he's not. Why, why did he stop? Everything. He hit the gym, you know? He, he could squeeze through that. So camp. not only did Sing get like a two level lead from Pulse, but now he first blood on the mid. Mid is completely just destroyed for Empire. Yep. So I think this is uh, jungle time for your storm soon. Yep, this is when you say, all right, Stack the woods for me. I need remnant. <laughs> no, but really, they should be doing yeah, yeah. that because, like, Bone Seven can't really get a whole lot at the top anyway. Denied. But you have to have a way for your storm to recover. Like, it's a necessity at this point. Well, they're actually going to try to gank mid a little bit. Always one flies going to lift thing up. They toss him back, but no not way. into the remnant or anything. So that's going to be it. He's already got treads, and a solo Rubik is not going to be enough to kill. Like, if resolution was six, maybe they could have killed him there. And it still would have been difficult, but I don't. Uh, I don't think they could have killed it with them. Um... What the? That was weird. That so, was Bruno whispering. I yeah. just heard that somebody was... say, "Hey." That was Bruno going, "Hey," and then everyone was like, "Wait, what?" Look around. Looking, we were all looking around because Bruno's usually lying in some ridiculous yeah. position. Yeah, I was like, "Where is he?" But he's not here. Haste. I don't know, man. I think it maybe it's just a little bit of lack of foresight from Empire, though, because it's not like this is new for Cloud Nine. Like, they do this all the time. Yeah. Always on the fly is going to find Bone 7, but there's I mean, like... He has Spike Carapace. Yeah, he's he not dying. should no be way. fine. I say that. There's Phase Boot as well as Dagger. Bone 7 taking a ton oh of God. damage. Indeed. Pops the Spike. That's going to secure his retreat out. He also has a poor Mangio. Yeah. Which I want Ice Frog to change it to pro Mangio, because when you get it... You're a, you're a pro player? You're a pro. What happens? You're a pro. A pilot die getting the 50 gold. Value D wards, man. I reckon with Sing go Necrobook, I think so. I think that's the... Sing's been going Necrobook on his Volker quite a bit. Yeah, I think that's the game plan. But uh, you probably don't want to go first. You might want to pick up uh, Yules or Forest Staff, depending yeah. what he sees fit. By the way, poor Mag hasn't gotten a creep kill this whole game. And he's up he's got two runes, though. Yeah, that's true. He's got some runes. No creeps. <laughs> they don't give gold their experience. Unfortunately. I mean, two lanes are just totally decimated right now by yeah. Cloud9. Like, mid and bottom are just going so unbelievably well for them. And this is normally the situation where you would say, okay, Resolution needs to help his team. What the hell is he supposed to do for his team right now, man? He has to have his Dazzle sit behind him because he's so scared of a count. Rightfully so. I mean, they just dewarded mid. It's pretty obvious it would want to try to gank you, but they have another high ground ward, like right where the creep wave is. So 
<laughs> they know exactly what's going on. These two lads aren't exactly stealthy. Lads. They're not sneaky. So, so my question is, how much is a farm specter in this case gonna do? It's like they're gonna go on mid resolution, trying to ball out. Sunstrike kind of. Oh, it does hit, but obviously not enough damage to actually kill it. They held hands and tanked it they together. They did. They did. I'm not sure if Storm would have died regardless of the hand holding. No, he wouldn't have. He's got a freaking casual belt of giant strength now. Needed that to survive. Should have dropped his belt right there before he got here. Yeah, man, you gotta communicate. He, Sama, wouldn't be pleased. Oh, it goes oh, from the high ground. Jesus. He wants mag, but he doesn't get oh, the oh, other beam. Oh, dude. Oh, uh, almost. Oh, He's oh, gonna try to rebut. Here comes the invoker. Doing a lot of damage. Here comes the Han Pilot. Nice. Gonna be ripped. Eddie coming in. He doesn't have the ultimate anymore. Sing Sing gets lifted. Toss it back to the river. Sing Sing's gonna be dead for sure. Mag's gonna come in to get a little bit of experience. Suddenly, the lanes that weren't going well for Team Empire gone a lot better. Man, that was pretty huge. That escalated quickly, huh? Well, Envy Wood, she did not blow that eclipse. You know, what about Silent when he plays Spectre Man? It's like. He is always just on point. Like, just, yep, I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna get these kills. And he always gets the kills. Yeah. That's the best part. Like, he doesn't just haunt in and get assist gold. He gets the kills. Sounds right. Not quite. I don't even know where it was. It was in the jungle for always wanna fly. Yeah, okay. But, uh. There's stack of the storm there. Yeah, they need to. Yeah. Like, resolution. He needs that. Win from so the bad. Sails. Wind from the sails? Somebody's taking the wind out of his sails for sure, man. <laughs> he 26 and 8 compared to 45 and 16. And he's died as well. I mean, like, he just. If got... you get. Okay, that's four full creep waves, I think, is denied. On top of, like, the three or four that Pilai I just denied from him completely. Like, even after the death, he's still two levels behind Sing. Sing's got the mechanism. Like... And he wasn't there to get any experience from the team fight because Resolution had to get graved and run away. Life's hard if you're a storm, man. We see a few times in the Dream League when there's an underlevel storm, it never goes well. Yeah. But hey, Shining Hope, right here, Silent, the man. It's kind of dark, it's going to be shining. Well, I mean... Okay, fair. fair it's enough. a figure of speech, Shane. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's supposed to be like a, a bright spot for you, you know? It's like, we're, we're not calling the early GGs anymore, we're hyping everything. Man. Okay. <laughs> the smoke! It's exciting! Don't run down Oh my god! We're the hype boys. Oh my days. Here comes here comes a smoke gang from Team Empire. Hype it up, because it's gonna go onto the bot lane. Oh, and we such all good know. timing too. Spectre's haunt's gonna be up like just in time for this. I, it, you know, I don't think it's a coincidence. I, it could be that they actually <laughs> communicated it. Oh damn, Empire wants to gang mid, but Sing Sing, he knows. He knows what's up, and this smoke is running out fairly soon. Things going mech. Oh, the, the, the famous invoker mech. The dead. I think it's pretty good actually. Yeah, it's not too bad. Sigma did it for a good one. I mean, nobody else is going to do it. All in, going for Aoi. Death birds. birds gets one stun. There's number two. Aoi walking away, gonna get lifted though. And yeah, he is super mega oh. dead. Silent, he wants to continue chasing. Eclipse is up. Needs to be careful, man. He's gonna take a lot of damage if he dies this. The shield. Oh, the enchant totem under the tower. Silent gonna get bursted down. Perfectly executed there by Cloud9. Over aggression coming out from Empire and they get punished pretty hard for them. bounces on that Luna ulti though. Yeah, I just want to give a rare shout out to Envy as uh, we see Resolution balling out. I never get shout out to Envy's, but uh, that was <laughs> a really well placed Eclipse. He, like, he was Dyer's perfectly leashed. He, is under attack. he hit a creep and he hits a hero back in the mid lane though. I Same don't know. He, he just got lucky on the bounces there. No, no, no. no he, he, was, he didn't get lucky. He yeah. was only in range of the one hero. Yeah. You think? Yes. Yeah. No. Like <laughs> almost positive he was only okay. in range for one. You get the ruler out and you mm -hmm. measure the eclipse range. Does he have a ruler? Shane, Shane, Shane is not impressed. Shane I, is... I'm, I'm doubtful. I'm yeah, doubtful. Okay. No, that was like 100%, just like barely max range. Okay, I'll, I'll have a look at the VOD later. See, the thing is, he did it in the river like he tried to when Mag was going for the rune. And then he got fogged But yeah, he was like too far away. But then he was like, oh, yeah, that's the distance. Then the second time. You whiff one like, and you lose <laughs> the distance. All right, all right. I get that. That's no. possible. Okay. I don't know. I don't know why Silent did that. Like, he could have very easily just waited for somebody else, mm -hmm. like to be near him. Maybe he thought it was died. safe because he had a creep wave. Yeah. Someone trailing behind him. It was like right behind mm -hmm. him. Yeah. I don't know, man. I still think that was suspect because he had te the team in the woods, like above him, right? Like his mm. team was right up there. So if he waited like three more seconds, they would have to keep running or they would just lose people, right? And mm -hmm. they could just kill the tower instead because the creep wave was pushing in their favor after the fact. So even if they didn't dive, it could have killed the tower. Yeah. 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 So I just don't get it. I don't get the aggression. Oh. We are resumed and we are paused.
just a quick question. Uh, we are saying that Team Empire is 4 0 so far in the league. Five, yeah. five, five and oh? Five and oh. Yeah. Okay, where's Cloud9 at? Four they're and near one? the middle. No, they're number two. They're right now. like tied for second right now. Yeah. They they're 4 and 1, I believe? Yeah, I think so. So if they actually win this game, they will be tied for first place. That's a pretty big deal. I mean, yeah, if you huge. beat Empire, that's always a big deal. So playing for a lot of uh, kind of momentum and standing here for the yeah. journey. That's what it's all about, man. Momentum. Momentum. All right. Pilai die going to mid lane. They're going to go resolution. He's trying to ball out, and he will make it. You need something a little bit more than that, like in hell from a Nyx Assassin. Well, actually, you just need more instances of damage. Yeah, one more right click. Okay. Yeah, because he has four points into Quas, which is actually enough to stop any like blink or ball animation. You just need more people hitting him to make sure that the cold snap goes off when it's supposed to. Or creeps. Yeah. That's one thing when I play Invoker and the opponent in the mid has a stout shield, it actually screws you so much for the cold snap because it doesn't do any damage to actually. Yeah. Oh, box. Yeah. Okay. Really pro, he would have staggered his two auto attacks from his board spirits <laughs> to make sure that they hit at the right time. So yeah. Yeah. All, all right, all right. Get out of that garden. Yeah. You can do it. It's yeah, not yeah. impossible. It's like super ridiculously hard, but he could do it, man. I mean, we're talking about like measuring eclipse range. That's why. Uh, oh, really really see, he didn't stagger it. Sing Sing. No. Not confirmation. Gross skills, man. No, no. But he's got his mech. That, that is true. Resolution want to be careful here. Apparently, uh, for other mech coders, sometimes you don't have enough mana to use it, but Exor Invoker, you get ex intelligence. He like, no spells. Yeah. yeah. And the fact that you can get intelligence from the, the fire orbs, so... Yeah. He, he's fine. He's grand. Middle tower he's grand. Is under <laughs> grand. Grand. <laughs> grand. Grand. Okay. Grand. Middle tower grand. Has grand. I, I can't do an Irish accent, man. I just can't. It's not in me. I can't do any other accent. And Cloud9 is actually doing a, a pretty good timing push here with the mech finish, the birds on top, Luna's coming back in. He's got the drums Dyer's as well. The Fissure always want to fly. He's trying to run. There's no grave. Oh, not in range. And he is dead. Tier 2 is suffering a ton of damage. They still have the mech available. Pylai die, Enchant Totem just to get a little bit. Dyer's middle tower is I mean, so Creep Wave's here. They, the, they got the Ring of Basilius and everything. This tower is going down. Yeah, it is. Yeah, this is a hard Double push. Let the fun Safe begin. Word. And he cancelled cast his eclipse there. He's like, I want no, I don't. Yeah. Not yeah. again, Ball creep wave. Ball creep wave, man. So two easy towers Dyer's here. Middle tower nine. I don't fallen. think they're gonna stop. I think because of the fact that Resolution had such a, a hard early game that they're just gonna abuse that. Oh, and they oh, found the stack. No. Resolution needs that, man. Please no. Oh boy. It ain't great. Now they're like, let's go up top, but let's scout around for a little bit something. Envy or sorry, always even gonna stop the. Uh, the spawning of that camp by dropping a ward there. That's rough. So unbelievably BM. Boy, silent enough time to get the Radiance. I think it might be, they might be alright. Yeah, sure. but you have to understand, like, getting a Radiance when you have all of your towers alive yeah. is much different than getting a Radiance if you've lost, like, five towers because yep. the supports on the other team are gonna have, like, a fully completed item. And the mech is, like, still really, really good against that kind of a lineup because even when the Radiance is done, you're gonna have some kind of heal to offset the Radiance burn damage and the auto attacks that your supports are gonna be taking. So normally, you would say, sure, you know, Pilot Eye, Bum7, and Aoi are all very susceptible to getting Radiance burned down, but just having another 250 health makes that insanely, like, Radiance big difference between the fights that you really need. Alright, the first sign Dyer's of some kind of life coming up from fallen. Team Empire. Blink Dagger on Mag. That's gonna give him a little team fight, but mid team fight's gonna happen right now. Bone 7 coming in, Impale's gonna hit on Silent Sunstrike, Fissure, everything! Fairly tanky as well as a soul assumption. They're gonna try to burst him down and they will. Great focus fire from C9. They're not done. They see always gonna fly on the right side. Do they have the mobility to catch him up? No, there isn't anything. So they I want to say one. that last auto attack didn't get blocked by Vanguard. And he that's had the medallion on. That's yeah. Right. I think he just got hit incredibly hard. And wow, look at C9. <laughs> yeah, Russian. I really like this. They, they're showing Radiance that if you give them a little bit of room, they're gonna go take a lot Radiance more. Yeah. Tower Greed is good. Fallen. Greed is good. Especially in Dota. But I don't even think this is necessarily a greedy move. I just think they know they can take it. Yeah. yeah. They're not going to take it the that. The And they know that even if they bought back, like, I still would say fighting in the Roshan pit is to their advantage because, I mean, Envy is level 11 now, so that's level 2 Eclipse. He's got 1,000 HP. He's got Drums, Dominator, and then you have Mech again. And it's, it's looking really, really good Cloud9 right now. Yeah. 
his ass and picks up his blink dagger. Oh, man. Pile I die. I'm surprised I Pile I die didn't go blink. He actually upgraded Arcane's for which I guess with the playstyle of we're gonna just you know keep pushing, keep grouping up. They need one or two people to yeah. get him, I think. Yeah. I just saw Andy's face when he saw Resolution was getting a BKB. He has to though. I know, I like, know. He has to, but it's so painful because you go in and you are out of mana. Like you have to BKB, go in, hopefully get the kill that you're going for, and then hope that your team can win the fight hard enough to where you don't have to retreat because you're going to be out of mana. No. Like, I mean, that's how Storm was played back in the days. And I'm talking yeah. about like 2010-ish where Dyer's Storm was picked as that type attack. of initiative. Radiant's middle but, uh, tower is under at attack. different times, as we see C9 pushing down a tier 1 bot, and mid is going to get uh, traded, I suppose, for Team Radiant's Empire. Middle tower yeah. I mean, they're not fallen. taking it on the chin here. They're getting what they can when Dyer's they can. Bottom yeah. tower but it's just fallen. becoming increasingly difficult for them because they're going to lose Dyer's a heck of a lot of map control. Uh, the, the bright thing that they have for them right now is that Silent is still farming very well given the circumstances, and they're going to be able to find oh, out Pylai Die Resolution, though, drops for it. Mag, he blinks in with a double edge, and he gets the kill on Pylai Die, but I'm pretty he actually did that into a care base as well. Yeah, he did, yeah. And now Mag is going to be dying on top of that. So like I said, if you do that, you die. Like, yeah, yeah. You, you just die. I had a, a little bit of help left. And oh, they gave Silence should be careful up top because they have a blink spike. Here we go. It's going to hit on Silent. Eclipse oh. is going to get dropped on all of these beams. I got to tell you, is enraged. Oh, Vansko so comes fast. back in. He's going to try to TP out. No mana for the beam. Trust switch from Envy. A bit late, Envy. Did he even trust switch? He did he not. Did. Oh, no, he, he, did. Did. he just switched it back as soon as he realized that the thing wasn't going to be fast enough. Resolution though, going on Aoi in bottom lane. Sing here too, though, be careful. Sing, cold snap on cooldown. Oh, Aoi might be going down, but Resolution looks like he's going to be going down Jesus. too. Maybe Ooh. just barely had enough mana to get away with the ball. And the stolen forge spirits chasing down so Sing. I mean, Dyer's he can in uh, three seconds. Now he has enough HP. Storm Surrey does. So he should be fine. Oh, yeah, he does. Oh, he's he's like half health, yeah. That value overclawed, man. He's going for it, though. Oh, just punches. Yeah. Always want to go fly. back to the base. Get more time in the well. <laughs> you bit of old boy. That's crazy. What a crazy turn of events. Silent keeps dying. It's... Come on, son. Not a good sign, man. I really would venture to say that if they didn't dive that bottom tier one, this game would be totally different. Because Silent dying before he gets radiance, like every time he dies before even just getting a relic, mm -hmm. right? Like you lose so much gold every time it happens because he's not really contributing that much into fights. There's only five kills, right? And he's been involved in three of them, so it's not like he's not contributing his part, but there just haven't been that many situations for him to get reliable gold. I would agree to that, only though half of it. I think right after he died on the bottom part, he should have gave up on the radiance. It's it's such a timing item, like you said, with the supports being poor, with the mech being up on C9. I think you should go for something else. Drums, defuse, or anything that could give you your team some resemblance of a team fight. I don't know. Because, say for instance, like theoretically, he does have his defusal. Okay. Let's say he has like Vanguard defusal right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Does that make him scary enough to where he can fight right now? Because I don't think it does. I think that you need a radiance just to be able to not only be a threat to the supports, but just farm enough to remain relevant. Because otherwise, you're going to get to a stage where having a defusal doesn't increase your farm rate at all. I mean, sure, you auto attack slightly faster, but in comparison, radiance is like miles better for keeping your efficiency up, which is what he needs if you're behind. I mean, I, even with the radiance, I don't think he could fight that well. I, I think C9 will just mech up and say, all right, we're going to keep on pushing. Yeah, but your ult in itself still is more of a sure, threat. Sure, sure. I think that the Manta style, like, there's no point in getting the defusal blade without Manta style. I the don't, I the don't get only it. thing I want to say, radiance. Well, Manta illusions still get desolate. Yeah, yeah. No, so but I'm, I'm saying I, I don't think there's a point to getting Dyer's top the diffuser blade. Attack. Like, sure, you get it on your ulti. If you don't already have the Manta. Yes, exactly. Yeah, okay. That makes more sense. Yeah, the only thing I want to say that Radiance really does well for Empire is that C9 is operating on two Blink Daggers, and Dyer's you still like, prevent the initiation. You still prevent them from chasing you, for example. But I'm not sure where to finish this discussion, because here comes C9, and they're looking for... They yeah, Manta blood. done on Luna. Necro, once, once this base tower Dyer's goes down and, and Empire does have to glyph, like the Rax is going to go down for sure. Here comes Envy threatening a beam or Eclipse. Yeah, he keeps on doing Radiant's that the fake Eclipse thing. Attack. I don't really know what Empire is supposed to do about this. Oh, resolution goes in. He wants Pylite die. 
going to be a blank stun. Oh, Only get a hit on Mag, unfortunately. Echo Sun gets used by Pilot Die as well. No one dropping quite yet. Mag, he gets grave. Pilot Die going to be the first casualty of this fight. Here comes the Eclipse from oh, Envy. God. He gets a double. He wants to potentially chase for more, but it looks like Always Wanna Fly is going to be able to escape by the skin of his teeth. Always Wanna Fly has Touché. Eclipse stolen, so if there's some good initiation coming out from him, as well as the rest of the team, they could actually make something happen. But Mag is dead. Storm is... Where, where's the Storm? Storm is being chased by Bone 7 on the mid lane. He needs to make it back on the well, but he doesn't have any mana. His spike is going to hit, and they're going to try to burst him down. Meanwhile, Envy's got a kill. Resolution's prevented to be going back oh, to the base. He's going to go down by more hit. Blink Dagger going to get the kill. Meanwhile, on the top lane, the Rax is fully exposed, and Cloud9 is about to take down Empire and get first place on the Dream League. That's an early GG, man. That was an early GG. About to. Now I got to play the good guy and say what Empire can do to get back in game. What will they need to do? Okay, they need... Um, honestly, they played that as well as they could have. They they kept Mag alive for so long. Like, he lived until the Eclipse came, and the, like obviously the grave wore off. But when they graved him, it was a very efficient grave. There's like Everything they did, I think, was sound. But the problem that Resolution's having is that he had to initiate and waste all of his mana. Yep. Like, yeah. he, he doesn't even have his KB yet, so when he went in, he knew that he was going to get counter-initiated on by the Knicks, and he dodged the stun. So good on him, right? But they just don't have enough damage. Like... Simply put. Yeah. I, I, should they time the Spectre ulti for when Luna eclipses? Okay. That would be ideal, because it would eat the bounces, but I think it's... They kind of have to go for air shaker. Well, here's helpful, the thing, though. You know? Here's the thing. If Empire does not press the Haunt button, they do not have enough damage. So, so they really need Haunt. Whereas Cloud9 don't even need Haunt. Or, sorry, don't even eclipse. need Eclipse yeah. to actually kill everybody. So I feel like Empire's pressure to use that Haunt. And, and just to go back uh, to Andy, I don't think this game is completely over to Team Empire. I feel like once Storm has the BKB, you, you saw how they're initiating. They're going for the Earthshaker. If you could actually pick up the Earthshaker before the fight happens, the Cloud9 team does lose a lot of AoE stun. So that's going to give Team Empire, team Empire a lot more damage output. So I think uh, Empire does have some fight in them. But yeah, here comes Bone7. He, he is, well, he is blinking back out because he somehow noticed that there is a Sentry Ward. What a player. What a player. But I mean, this is an offlane Dagon blink next at 23 minutes in. Like, he is unbelievably farmed. He's 2 0 well, 6. His team also has five towers as well as a Roshan kill, so. Yeah, but that's kind of what we were saying earlier. Like, the fact that Resolution got shut down mid is why they lost so much map control. The Storm needs a good start. Like, if you don't get a good start, and especially, like, say you don't get any CS, right? Like, yeah. for the sake of argument, like, or super extreme. You don't get any CS, but you get all the experience from your lane. You're still, in my opinion, like in a better spot because Resolution was two levels lower than Sync before he even got ganked once. Yeah. Like that is Dyer's so unbelievably, is like, attack. like you said, backbreaking. Like, how did you come back from that? Yeah, I think top lane, Bone Seven is uh, teleporting to defend yeah. that one. I think they were trying to bait out a couple of. Always got an eggs now, so there's that. That yeah. tower bottom is just dead. Twenty. Like, there's no yeah, like Twenty minutes or something. It's insane. Get Satanic on an enemy. Okay. Is under attack. Hmm. And double damage in the ball. You're saying a quick, quick BKB would help out in this Dyer's particular draft, and I agree just in, in the drafting proportion, but when you're this far ahead, you don't get, Yeah, just getting raw HP and the Satanic just heal you back up after you survive all the initiation. Did Eternal Envy buy a bottle specifically for that double damage rune? I wouldn't put it past them. Yeah. No, no, he, he, he always says this is like the game winning rune. Uh, and yeah. you should buy a bottle if you're a carry dude, in situations like this. Yeah, so. but I would go high ground, honestly, if I were C9 right now on bottom. But Silent, completely out of mana here in the top lane. Bone 7 with a, uh, a creep stun there. Just decides to blink away. But he's going to... Empire back to the base, which I guess is more or less what he wants to do, so... Oh no, Envy DD popped. And, uh... Okay. I think the expiration date on that thing kind of ran out. It's only back in two minutes, so it's not great. You want to eat that like cook it. Be like. as effective as you can, Envy. Hit that, every creep. That sounds like the Swedish market. Yeah, remember that meat I got yesterday? Yeah. Went off like what this morning or something? Expired. Yeah. It but expires in like 20 minutes. Yeah, but it's Better so go good. Better and cook it like right now. <laughs> it's like a quarter of the price. Well, Cloud9 continue to assert their map dominance here over Empire. Oh, Radiance. Radiance. Yeah. All right. Oh, here comes the minute Radiance. Again, if you haunt right now, I mean, the Blink Dagger on Bone 7 as well as on Pilot Eye is going to be completely disabled. So I think the team fight is going to get much, much better for Team Empire. Yeah, sure. Also, they also have BKB finish on Resolution, so they actually can burst down just about anybody. Uh, They're going to have to outplay, though. They, they really have to. 
Then the birds are gonna destroy them. That's Again, the one fear I have to look. Just seeing in that game for Empire versus Ahead, where they eventually lost, Empire was in similar situation, but they were able to team fight on a fairly even ground because they were outplaying. Uh, but Cloud9. But do you think they can outplay Cloud9 that hard? I don't think so. And some like when you have heroes like Luna, you just click the button. No, like there's very little play. Like Luna's gonna be Luna. She's I don't know. gonna what do if, a lot what of What if you eclipse deeps. on a high ground and you just don't hit anybody? Illusion. Apart from that, I mean, like, <laughs> I'm sure M has measured the range. I hope he has. He got out the screen ruler, man. Yeah, it's ridiculous. He's got like some some measurements, like one inch equals like ten in-game units or something like ten that. Ten in-game <laughs> units. And by the way, there's also that would be way more than that. It'd be like neck 100. three. I'm in right now. Envy just running in. Yeah, Envy doesn't care. He needs to he uh, be care. cautious that he is. Oh, here. Oh, 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 actually gets a blink off. They're going to decide to go on Aoi instead. And the Knight's nice three-man stomp coming out from Mag. But Bone7 already finds a kill oh, on no. Vanscore. Here comes the Eclipse. The Fissure comes out as well from Pylai Die. And it's actually a two for two right now. Always want to fly, still alive. And they're going to be trying to chase down Silent as well, oh. who is running away from Envy. Envy really wants this kill. I don't really think he's going to get it, though. Sing manages to kill. Always want to fly in the base. I'm assuming that was a oh, Storm's coming right back in right now. He sees Envy. He wants him dead. But out of med, that's a problem. He said the birds are dropping. And so is Resolution Resolution does not have buyback, and even if he does, he does not have the KB to back him up. Envy is looking Dyer's at a tier 3 tower time. that's about oh, to go there. down. Oh, he does have buyback. <laughs> he All right. had enough. That was 700 gold for him to buy back. Okay, Glyph is going to come out. They're going to fight. Live another day, I hope. Yeah, exactly. The lights are on. The lights are now back on. They're, They're on. on. Turn them on. Silence. Silence gonna die. Oh, <laughs> the birds. He backs up, still alive. He's gonna go back to well, but expose Rex for Envy is mean. Oh no, Max gonna TP on the back line. It's gonna be a two-man stop. Oh, three. He is so slow. Oh, oh, he's gonna get caught. He magic shield. sticks up. He's still alive. Mag is gonna <laughs> that ice swapping stolen by Always Wanna Fly. Always Wanna Fly is playing out of his mind right now, but not enough. Yeah, Envy still has Aegis, by the way. Resolution goes for the BKB. They're going to be able to take him down oh. the first time. Envy's going to be respawning. Are they going to back him up? Silence just in the back lines right now, taking out Aoi and Pilei Dai both. Pilei Dai with the body block. He makes it all the way around. The gem is on deck. Pilei Dai is going to be able to pick it up. Lucent Beam onto Silent. Oh, he wants to try to get the heck out of here. Throws a dagger for the movement speed and gets hit with a huge total. He has buyback as well. And looks like he, on the look at things, he's going for Blame Mail, which is a very good item if you can get the activation. How are there? And the rack's still alive. I don't. I don't know. I keep saying oh, it. Oh my god. And Envy could have popped uh, his Manta in that fight and just send it back into the melee rack, and that may have done it. Looks like C9 is going to back off. They got two buybacks out of the team Empire. Empire might not lose now, but because all, all the buybacks they've used, they're really limiting of what they could do in the next fight. The lights yeah. are back off, lads. It's like, all right. It's like mood lighting. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah. like, oh, it's over. It's bright. No, it's not over. It's, it's more game. I mean, I, I just want to point out the net worth so far for Envy versus Silent. It is worlds apart. Oh, yeah. He's got double, like, double net worth. <laughs> when he gets his butterfly, is there anything? Mm -hmm. can do? I mean, the saving grace, really, is that even though, like, earlier, uh, Lumi said that buying a BKB sometimes isn't necessary, a uh, Silent's not going to die to just a Nyx. Oh, maybe with a Sunstrike. It's gonna be pretty. So he's got another mana burn. He's not gonna be able to dagger. Ooh. Silent wants to go for the kill, actually. Bone Seven's trying to run away. You can't blink. Mana burn. One more mana burn. Jesus. No, man up. Man up. Oh. Silent. Oh. He didn't know who was hiding in the bushes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess he didn't have any vision anywhere. It's like super risky. And his payback was on cooldown. Yeah. No, I, I mean, I, I agree with the fact, like, given the vision he had, he had to run. But. It just sucks because we can see where everyone is, yeah, and yeah. it's like, no, you're gonna kill them. <laughs> but he doesn't know that, so. I was saying something else, and now I can't remember what it was. You were talking about something about BKB. Oh yeah, yeah, I think. yeah. So, like Lumi said, buying a BKB isn't always a necessity when you're super far ahead in farm. Like a Satanic is obviously like an amazing item, mm -hmm. right? But if you don't have a BKB, there's still the potential that Empire could almost stunlock you to death. And they right? did almost that in that team yeah. fight. It was a. Uh, it was a telekinesis lift into a three-man mag stun from the centaur, and then always fun to fly was able to take a fissure and lobbed it on Dyer's top of that. It was like literally attack. six or seven seconds of chain stun. Envy just stood there, but he had so much HP. Yeah, the triple bracer. That is some serious desperation from our boy Van Score, man. Triple bracers. Why is he not playing Rubik? What's what's up with that? Like, I don't know. Maybe they just wanted to switch it up.
I know. Always want to fly is playing really well. Like stolen figure, stolen yeah. clips, stolen ghost yeah, wall. I'm not, I'm not doubting that. I'm just saying. Oh, All right. I mean, all of C9's group oh, this is it's not too good. Roll. They're going to go right on KB. He actually just joins the stun nicely. They're going to go on Sing. He's going to go up BKB. Is he actually going to be alive this entire fight? Sing still not going to drop. They pop the Manta and the Ethan Satanic as well with the Eclipse. And they just simply don't have damage to fight this. It's a triple kill for Envy. Can he make it an Ultra? It looks like it was a little bit close, but Bone7 actually got the kill on Resolution. So the only one, again, who is going to live through the engagement is always want to fly. And he oh, might get the the birds. Oh, no, they turned! Objective they turned gaming. away. Well, I mean, given the circumstances, is that I mean, sure a four for two? Not great, but they fought about as well as they could have. Mag got a really nice stomp. Yeah, they managed to catch Sing prior to BKB, so they did kill him. They were in a really difficult Dyer's position as well because they're fighting on the upground. Like, it's really difficult to fight uphill. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But I mean, like even as far behind as they were, which Empire were Dyer's really far behind, like over 20,000 mm -hmm. gold during that fight. Like they still managed to kill two. Yeah. Like I think that's what Lumi was saying a little bit earlier. It's like they don't always win just based on their composition. Dyer's they win based on their team play and like knowing what targets to focus. So in that regard, they still have to say like Empire Dyer's played it like pretty darn well. How and many three man stones is my god? Like four, tower. three or four. And I have to say, if they actually killed Sing Sing before he was able to pop his mech and BKB, that team fight would have been significantly different. Dyer's like having that AOE heal and everybody fallen. was so low on C9. Dyer's so I think props to Empire. Like if, if Sing Sing was a bit lower, they would win that team fight or get very close to it. Yeah, for sure. Mega creeps against Team Empire. Yeah. And that happens. There's like echo slams and stuff. And the lights attack. aren't on yet, so. I don't know. It's okay. They gave up on it. They decided, you know what? We can't actually know for sure when the game's going to be over because in a game where a team might not call GG, they just call GG immediately, and then other times it's like, okay, surely they're going to call GG, and then they don't. Well, the throne's exposed. Is under attack. Yeah, it's Dyer's a thing. Structures are fortified. I mean, they're going to lose their base. And it is called... Dyer's radiant yeah. victory. That's an honorable death to Empire, though. You know it's what I mean? trademark now. No, it's just Dota. There was no Sudoku. They let him finish the job. And uh, Empire go 1-1 uh, one and one today. Not what we expected. Well, Close. let's be honest. If they banned Earthshaker, way closer game. True. Like, I, I really have to put so much emphasis on how poorly Resolution had to do that game because of Fissure